Ajma'in. All praise and thanks belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon his servant and final messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As to our followers, my dear respected brothers in Islam, uh, to share one word of the Quran which is in an ayah and it's found yani, in several sort. It's a beautiful ayah, it's a beautiful meaning. But at the same time, it's a very scary reality. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, "Ulaika hum al-warithun al-ladin yarithun al-firdaus hum fiha khalidun." Now the idea of <coughs> Allah Azza wa Jalla speaks about people who enter the paradise. And the Surah Al-Mu'minun, at the beginning to it, right towards the end, where this ayah we find it, Allah Azza wa Jalla mentions qualities and descriptions of the believers. And then he says at the end, after he mentions their qualities, and I'm not talking about the qualities, just about this ayah, he says, Those indeed are the inheritors. Al-Warithun are the inheritors. What would they inherit? Allah says, al-firdaus. They will inherit the firdaus, which is of course yani the highest level in the paradise. And then Allah says, Hum fiha khalidun. They'll remain therein forever. This also comes again in Surah Al-A'raf. Allah Azza wa Jalla he says, وَنُوذُوا أَمْتِلْكُمُ الْجَنَّةُ أُورِثْتُمُوهَا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Allah Azza wa Jalla tells the people of the paradise that this is the paradise you have inherited because of what you used to do. And this is also found in Surah Al-Dukhan, وَتِلْكَ الْجَنَّةُ الَّتِي أُورِثْتُمُوهَا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ This is the paradise that you have inherited. Now what you realize in all these ayat, he said, Allah is saying to the believers, this is your house in the paradise that you have inherited. Now, this, this word, uh, uh, it's, it's very interesting. And it, as I told you, it's beautiful and it's a very scary reality at the same time. would mean you inherit something. And for order to inherit something, that means it belonged to someone. You don't inherit something like yani, something new, you inherit something that belonged to someone. But for example, yani, if, <coughs> if our parents, for those parents that died and parents that will die, and if you lived after your parents, you'll inherit that which belonged to your parents. So you inherit something that belonged to someone. So Allah is saying the people of the paradise are inheriting the paradise which means the places they're entering in the paradise were for someone. And subhanAllah, the scary reality is that each and every single one of us has a house in the paradise. We all have that. And we all have a place in the hellfire as well. When Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, كُلُّكُمْ يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةِ All of you will enter the paradise. He said this. So, everyone, everyone. Everyone that was created from Adam alayhi salam till the last man that will exist, everyone has a house inside of the paradise. The worst of people and the best of people. Fir'aun has a house in the paradise. Those criminals with him had a house in the paradise. Everyone that exists has one. But unfortunately, they don't make it to their house. So when the believers enter the paradise, Allah Azza wa Jalla says, inherit that house that belonged to someone. But unfortunately, he didn't make it. He's uh, down in the hellfire. So you inherit his house. When Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, كُلُّكُمْ يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةِ You'll all enter in the paradise. إِلَّا مَنْ أَبَى Except who refuses. Then they said, وَمَنْ يَأْبَى يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ They said, who's going to refuse to enter the paradise? He said, مَنْ أَطَاعَنِي دَخَلَ الْجَنَّةِ Whosoever obeys me enters the paradise. وَمَنْ عَصَانِي فَقَدْ أَبَى and whosoever disobeys, then he's the one who refused. You see, subhanAllah, the wording of the hadith, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he didn't say, and whosoever disobeys me enters the hellfire. He didn't say that. Because in essence, you had a house in the paradise. You're the one that refused your place in the paradise. So Allah Azza wa Jalla said, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, وَمَنْ أَبَى And whosoever disobeys me, then he refused, refused what? Refused to enter the paradise. And subhanAllah, Allah Azza wa Jal, he teaches that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says that the believers before they enter the paradise, they had a house also in the hellfire. They had a place there. And before they enter the paradise, they take one of the kuffar and they throw them there. And, and that, then he takes his place and he walks into the paradise. 
And the believers look at so many empty houses in the paradise. So then Allah Azza wa Jalla says, inherit it. Take it because the owner of it is not here. He refused. Unfortunately, he refused to enter the paradise. So now you can have multiple homes. But subhanAllah, this is the reality of it is that, and as I said, it's something beautiful, but it's scary at the same time to know that you have a place in the hellfire and you have a place in the paradise. You want that, you need to obey the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you refuse it and you want your other place, then you disobey the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in saying this, obviously this is a month in where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described as وَلِلَّهِ عُتَقَى وَذَلِكَ فِي كُلِّ لَيْلَةِ And for Allah Azza wa Jal, He frees servants uh, during this month. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that is happening every single night. Every single night it's happening. So don't waste your, your chances and your opportunities. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frees your neck from the fire. If anything, that should be the main focused dua for you in this month. Because this is, this is a month in when Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stressed upon how many servants Allah will free from the hellfire. And you know how wonderful it would be if Allah Azza wa Jal had already freed your neck from the first night of Ramadan. And if not, there are still يعني, uh, many more days to come of this blessed month. So يعني, between you and yourself, uh, ask Allah Azza wa Jal sincerely that He inherits for you the, the hell, the paradise, and that He removes, He frees you from the hellfire, and He frees you from the punishment of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. إنه ولي ذلك والقادر عليه وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين.